All right, hello and good morning or good whenever you're, if you're watching the recording, whenever you are watching this. So this is, was recorded the night after the eclipse. I forgot to ask everybody on if anybody got to see the eclipse last night. I thought I would, and then I, you know, was watching, I was watching a film to try to keep me awake and was looking at the time and I slept all the way through until it was over. And then I thought, why? Well, and then I thought maybe it, it was best with me unconscious because, you know, the eclipse is all about resetting and, and you know, with this moon in Scorpio, which is hanging on to things, sometimes you have to get yourself out of the way. So <laughs> I guess that's what I did. And maybe some of you out there did. And if you visually saw it, it was probably absolutely wondrous. Um, all right, so today, this morning, so now that reset button has been pushed and the air is a little bit clearer perhaps for you, or maybe not. Um, what I drew today, I kind of wanted to stay with the earth today to really focus on the earth. And so I drew from this sacred forest deck by Denise Lynn, and she's a really good, she does really good courses on space clearing, you know, like feng shui, her, her take on that. And this card, wise woman of the grove in the grace. And if you can see, there's a woman back here and she's got the light that's shining behind her. But another one also fell out of the deck as I drew this one, which was the wood nymph. So it's, it's, this is the older and the wise perception, physical perception of the woman and then the young women in the beauty. So we will include both. Okay, wise women and men of the Grove, let's begin. And as always, as life begins and ends with the breath, drawing in the pranic energy, the spirit energy, your connection to the universe is through the breath. So just drawing the breath into the center of your universe, you may perceive that as the heart, you may perceive it as the belly. Sometimes I see both, like right now I'm seeing both. And just allowing the breath to fill the body with the focus on your center. Keeping it simple, just following the inhale, seeing that pause at the top of the inhale, following the exhale, and noticing that pause. so that you're taking a pause to notice when you're completely full and notice when you are emptied out. And you may begin to notice the surfaces of your skin places that are touching what you're sitting on. If your feet are on the floor, the bottoms of your feet. The strong gravitational pull on the sit bones calling the energy from the center of the earth up to your base chakra, to the place where your body attaches to the seat. And just three feet below you, 
is that earth star chakra that we've done a lot of work with. If you've watched a lot of these recordings or been to a lot of these live sessions, the earth star chakra, the place where the energy from the center of the earth is calibrated to match your energy, calibrated so that your body receives it to the maximum strength that it can. So just being aware of that as you breathe up, inhaling, allowing that energy from the center of the earth to pass through that earth star chakra, which is often seen as a silvery color. The crystalline energy from the center of the earth passes through the silvery earth star and comes in through your base chakra and up to your heart. And as you exhale, let's just go, at, let's just let that energy spread outward from our heart into our environment, into our room, into however much space you feel like you're comfortable covering with that exhale. So that that crystalline energy from the center of the earth surrounds you and perhaps your neighborhood. The spiritual body can go as far as 50 miles, I'm told. So see how far your spiritual energetic body goes today. Being aware of all directions. See if you can locate where the east is. The sunrise, often associated with Archangel Raphael and the green color of healing. The south. Breathing in the energy from the south and breathing it back out, often associated with Archangel Michael, the color of blue. Breathing in the energy from the west into your heart and exhaling out. The West is often associated with Archangel Gabriel in the color of white. And the West, or the North, I'm sorry. We just did the West. <laughs> Mercury's in retrograde, my brain feels it. So the North, often associated with Archangel Uriel can be sort of like an orangish red color. So allow the energy from all four directions from the angels, if you want to add the angels to meet in your heart. Draw that energy in and then exhale it back out so that you clear that channel all four directions around you. And then from above, the central sun, often referred to as Helios, can be source energy, universe, God, whatever you would like to call it. passes through the stellar gateway, which is about three feet above your head, overseen by Archangel Metatron, a golden color. Breathe that in through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, often seen as a thousand petal lotus. Let those petals open to completely receive this energy. 
and bring it into your heart. Just focusing on the energy from source for the next three or four breaths through the stellar gateway. There it is calibrated so that it can be the highest vibration that we can receive. We'll ask for fifth dimensional energy or higher through your personal crown chakra, thousand petal lotus into your heart. And then becoming aware of all four directions and above and below, receiving with the inhale and exhaling it back out, all four directions above and below. And we'll create a little cocoon around us with this energy, see how far out this little light bubble goes and see what color it is for you. Maybe it's a rainbow of all of the colors that we're receiving from all of the directions. So receiving grace, Receiving beauty, the words, the word grace associated with the wise woman of the grove, and the beauty associated with the wood nymph. So the wise woman card says, you are at the advent of a remarkable time of ease, wisdom, healing, joy, and inspiration. Your ability to hear the voices of spirit is rapidly expanding. Spirit guardians are watching over you with immense love and kindness. Being in this state of grace means being blessed by divine forces. Grace can mean having enough inner nobil nobility that even if you know your opinion is absolutely right, you don't push the point. You are willing to drop it, knowing that in the great scheme of things, it's not that important. Besides, the creator knows the truth of the situation, even if others don't. So there's two things I thought were significant in this, because it says your ability to hear the voices of spirit is rapidly expanding. And you may, like me right now, be feeling like the opposite is happening but in this eclipse, we've been going under this pause, this reset button, this, it hasn't been a disconnection, but it's been like the old wires that are pulling out and the new ones, which will enable us to expand our sense of hearing, our sense of feeling, our sense of knowing our connection to spirit. So as you breathe, just allow, you may see these old wires being replaced with the new tunnel. It's kind of like right now where I live, the sewage tunnels are being widened, the storm tunnels underneath the roads. So there's a lot of construction, a lot of upheaval going on, but it eventually will flow more clearly, more easily. So same concept here. You are receiving tunnels for these lights from above, from below, from all four directions is being expanded. So slow down and breathe in that truth.
And with these wires is the letting go of old beliefs that are keeping us from moving forward. Old beliefs in the Scorpio full moon that we are clutched onto, holding onto the ones that we need to let go the most. So through these new tunnels, these wider tunnels, let those beliefs, those big beliefs that you're holding on to, you may know what they are, but just ask them for them to be released, whether you know them or not. Through these newly expanded tunnels, it can go both ways, just like we were breathing and receiving from all four directions, but these tunnels and see where the exit happens. Sometimes it goes to the center of the earth for recycling and sometimes it goes up to spirit for recycling. And I often see these beliefs leaving as a black cloud. And then you want to cut the cord but that black cloud or whatever form yours appears in, cut the cord and release it. Perhaps the belief that you are right. Your belief that you have to push your point, that others have to understand the fifth dimensional point of view, the point of view of love, the point of view that you see so clearly, but others might not yet. Let go of pushing that point clutching on to our need to help others see the light. It will happen just naturally, just through these newly expanded channels that we have opened. will shine out a brighter light from us that will automatically affect others as they are ready. without the need to push our point or prove we are right. So all that being said, just breathe from all four directions above and below through these new channels into your heart and let it shine up and brighten your heart and or your belly. Your knowing, perhaps you can include the third eye in this, the throat for the words, every cell in your body lighting up with a higher voltage per se. And so I'm being shown a two prong plug going to a three prong plug. So it's similar to that. So plug yourself into those three prongs or more, five prongs if you want it, six, a million. Just practice allowing your light, your heart to shine allowing these channels to expand. We'll ask for them to continue to expand throughout the day. And if you get challenged and you feel like you wanna make somebody else see the light, step back, ground yourself, breathe, allow your light to shine and allow them to see it when and if they are ever ready. So the last finishing touches for now, although this will continue through the day, continue to be opened up and expanded and calibrated 
to the maximum voltage, the maximum receptivity of light that we can handle. In our heart, in our belly, in our third eye, in our throat, in our base chakra, our connection to our divine purpose on earth to be this ambassador for the light. And when you are ready, allow your palms to touch each other. Mm. And let your eyes open if they're not, so that we're seeing around. Seeing through these expanded channels. Mm. All right, thank you, thank you for being here. Namaste. Thank you.